walkthrough, playthrough, review, anything like that. It's just me playing the game badly so you can see what it looks like. Okay then, this is Breakout on a 16K Sinclair ZX81. Haven't played this before, but um, it's Breakout, so how hard can it be? 5 and 8 to move. Okay, initial speed. Let's hope one is slow. A. Please. One. New line. Aggressive. P or normal. And what? I don't know. Let's do normal. No. Mm. Let's do. Oh, whatever. Okay, how do we start? Like that. Alright, this ain't bad. Yeah. I wonder if normal means it stays the same speed. That wouldn't be so good. Though with my playing ability... Actually, I have played vastly worse games of Breakout than this. I'm, I'm liking this. The movement of the bat is nice. It's reasonably smooth given the machine it's on. It's uh, really quite decent. I played Breakout on a Jupiter Ace and that was, um, while it initially seemed nice, the limitations of the actual angles the ball could go at rather wrecked it. If you can hear a load of noises in the background, that is, um, I'm, I'm ripping a load of my old VHS tapes onto DVD so that I can clear some space in the study and I'll put all the, uh, the tapes into the loft so I have more shelf space to put computers and things on yeah but that's what the noise is it's fear and loathing in Las Vegas love that film totally irrelevant to the recording of this video I just thought I'd mention it because well what can you talk about while playing Breakout like this probably should have gone for progressive but what the heck I mean, the thing with a game like this and indeed a computer like this the reaction of a lot of people, and particularly young people, say teens to twenty-somethings, and even some thirty-somethings, will be, what a pile of crap. Why would anyone play that when you could play... Mm. Well, you didn't. the NES wasn't out, and neither was the Master System, so that wasn't an option. Your choices at the time that this came out were the Atari 2600, the Fairchild Channel F. Um, the ColecoVision wasn't out yet. The Intellivision wasn't out. Actually, well, I'm not quite sure exactly when the Intellivision was. Possibly the, the Intellivision and the Video Pack. Something like that. You know, the Odyssey 2. They were your choices. And yes, they all played better games than this. Um, they were in colour, mostly. And they had sound and they were faster, largely, but they weren't computers and they weren't, for a while, this cheap. Um, you, you're looking at a, for the 1K unexpanded model, you were looking at under a hundred pounds. I don't remember exactly what they sold for, but they, they were, was it 79 pounds or something? They, they were ludicrously cheap. Um, and they were a computer. They weren't just a games machine. And for learning BASIC, well, I learned that I was crap at BASIC on a ZX81. Um, there are a lot of unique and incredibly limited features on them. And I will do a full system review of it soon. I know I've been promising it for months or is it years, I don't know. But it seems like it's worth talking about whilst I play the game. Definitely go for progressive while playing this because normal is just... well, normal on speed one. It's too easy. Yeah. So, the, the games are not as good as the consoles of the day, but it is a computer, and that set it apart immensely. It wasn't ever designed for playing games on, which is why it is so crap at games. It wasn't designed for them. They were never what it was intended for. It was all about learning how to program, learning what computers were about, getting a head start 
in computing you know you, if you were lucky your parents could afford one of these when you were still in school primary school whatever you know and you could really get a head start so that when um, computers became more practical you already knew what to do with one they were also vastly more user friendly than um, the kind of computing, home computing, that had been around before this, that there were computers all all been in kit form. You know, you bought a circuit board. You you maybe had a keyboard with it if you were lucky. Um, God, a lot of them didn't even display on a TV. TV, you know, you had a row of LEDs or something like the Kim One. I don't know what the Commodore, uh, what what the um, Mark 14 Sinclair looked like exactly or how that functioned but I imagine it was the same kind of thing row of LEDs or something maybe yeah and there were what was it was it the NASCOM that you you got your own circuit board and put it in its own case whatever you chuck you know, there are like wooden computers around out there I have seen them and I believe that was a NASCOM yeah so it was like mass produced ready made easy to use and dirt cheap and it could play games badly but they made absolute perfect sense despite looking so horribly crap now that I'm, I'm repeating myself so much and it's just like what can you do while playing a game like this um, so yeah nice weather we're having today it is really really hot <laughs> <laughs> apparently it's going to cool down this is the uh, Steve Benway weather report I am recording this on Monday uh, I don't know what day you're going to get to see it but right now I'm sitting here just in my jeans and a pair of Birkenstock sandals and nothing else and I'm boiling um, yeah apparently it's going to uh, like rain or thunder or something later in the week which you probably know about by now by the time you're watching this and if you're watching it like a couple of years after the fact you should probably ignore that weather forecast yep one more please <laughs> Go on, go on. Oh my god. That's not going to go near it. Yeah, if you ever suffer from. Oh crap. If you should ever suffer from insomnia. Yeah. Okay, let's have a look at 999 as a speed. This could be amusing, just before I turn it off, really number of balls oh I see that's yeah all right progressive oh oh my god yeah okay that's more like it oh Now I am impressed. I was liking it anyway, albeit it was slow. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So breakout by I haven't got a clue. Don't know when it was made. Don't know who it was made by. It's just breakout on a Sinclair ZX81, 16K. See the difference the 16K RAM pack makes. Highly recommended. Okay, thank you for watching.